Hello, I'm Origami Witch, and today I'm going to tell you how to use Luppet, or I'm going to do the best I can to teach you how to use Luppet. The first thing you want to do is download Luppet. You can Google it, and it'll just bring you to this site, um, which is over on Booth, or you can just look it up on Booth.pm. And you can download it for free, but there's going to be a watermark on your avatar. Um, you're going to get a zip file, you're going to unzip it, and then you're going to open up Luppet.exe. You might come up with that error, but you know. We're gonna bypass this. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to get some information. Like, you're gonna have to sign up. It costs money for this program, but it's a pretty good program. Now, <clears throat> you'll notice here that there's... So you're gonna have an open file folder, and it's gonna pop open with this, and it's gonna show you all the um, models it has. And right now it only has the sample model. But what we're going to do is we're going to find our model and we're going to drag and drop it right in here. Alright, so now my model should be in there. So we're going to close this out. Um, I'm going to close out Luppet. I don't... Oh no, wait, you can click it and it'll refresh. Alright, so they updated that part. <laughs> Look, scuffed tutorials are scuffed. Alright, so I'm going to collect, uh, select my model. And there I am. I'm going to select my camera. And I want the Logitech. Mind you, this is the Logitech I use. It's some cheapo piece of shit from Walmart and it works just fine. Um, so now I'm going to go to the expression keys and I'm going to make sure that they're all on something. So let's see. Um, my extra is the numpad. Uh, in case you didn't know, like B is to hold down the button and T is to toggle it. So like for the hat, I would want it to toggle it. And I'm going to make that this button. And I'm going to toggle pom pom would be this button. And this would still be that. And I'm going to do it as a, I guess, zero. And dread will be... I'm going to do dread three. And fun six and surprise of an arrow. Although <clears throat> I do sorrow as three two so I'm gonna trigger both of them at the same time. Uh, this will allow you to decide if you're going to allow uh, blinking while the expression is playing and if you're gonna allow talking while the expression is playing and so for most of these I'm going to allow. All of this is okay. Okay dokay. Let me make sure they're all set up. So what I did here is I put star and Dread on the same one, so it's going to trigger both at the same time. It doesn't really matter. It's fine. And then you have system settings if you want to, like, you know, whatever. That's fine. And then we're just going to start with the model. And over here it shows that it's tracking. Um, fun fact. Uh... When this originally came out, there was no English translation to this, and I made the English manual for it. Ha, ha, ha. All right. <clears throat> so they have uh, some features here. Uh, one of the things I like to do is, like, flip the image, um, which I don't necessarily like it, but I would prefer if it tracked reverse, and I don't know if they added that. No, they didn't. Um... Yeah, so, so one of my, my issues with it is that it kind of mirrors your movements. So if I, I look this way, my character might be looking to like the right, but I'm actually looking to the left and whatever. Um, and this also shows like issues. Uh, but we're going to mirror it just because it kind of mimics more of what I'm doing. Uh, yeah. Uh... And I guess there's things where you can like flip it or whatever, or you know, take a snapshot. And this is, I, I guess, if you're doing like TikTok videos, maybe. I don't know. Uh, the tracking settings is, settings is kind of new. You don't need to worry about that. This is only if you're going to use leap motion. It's going to help you adjust where like the box for your um, your hands to go in. Like so, it'll stretch it out wider. You can make your hands go bigger. As long as it's in this box, that's where your hands are going to be allowed to go. Pretty much. And then you can save it if you want. 
Advanced characters is just gonna let you adjust your shoulders, you know. If you really want that like big boing boing energy, you can just do that. <laughs> um, uh, lip sync, you can do camera based. Uh, this one actually has pretty good camera base. And if you noticed, um, well, I'll, I'll bring it up later, but, uh, or you can do the audio. Um, I'm gonna do this, yep. We can boost the signal a little bit so it sees what we're doing, but there is a little bit of a delay. And it's one of the problem, one of an issue I have here, but you can do a delay for your audio in Streamlabs if that's what you want. But we're gonna go camera base for this one. Yeah, this one always had a really good uh, lip tracking. I've always really appreciated this lip tracking. Um, character position, you know, you can just grab and rotate and zoom, 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 zoom. Okay. Uh, leap motion settings. This is how far the hands are going to be from in front of you. What I usually do for this, if I have my leap motion plugged in, is I hold my hand out uh, either by my chin or in front of my face and then adjust it to where it matches. Uh, I'm not plugging in my leap motion for this. I don't feel like it. <laughs> Uh, calibrate like so let's say you know this is my facing forward position we're going to stand still and now it's my facing face forward position um it, you can adjust like lighting and stuff I don't I don't have too much of the whatever set on uh, bloom is bloom is sometimes a little nice to have you know just like well. um and then the background, if you want to change the color to whatever, or if you want to add in an image. Now, when you want this full screen, just hit the escape button and ta-ta. And you can still move yourself around and scroll out if you want to see like the full body and what's going on. And um, One of the things that you will notice with this is that when I turn my head to the side, uh, clipping into my face is very minimal. Whereas when I use, um, VC phase, it happens all the time. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I don't think uh, she knows why. I, I've asked about it before and I don't know. But yeah. Uh, and then when you're ready to use this, you can just go bring over your thing, you know, we're over here again. And you're just going to add a new window. You're going to just capture you know, loop it, hit OK. Uh, then you're going to right click and do filters and then you're gonna add one and you're gonna go chroma key. Uh, I picked out the green because, you know, I use the green. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I really like Luppet a lot. I don't use it too much because one of the biggest things, issues I have with it is the, um, the reverse like model recording thing. So if you have something that's on one side or like writing, you're most likely going to have to reverse it. Uh, escape will get you out of here. We can try like doing this, see if that helps. Yeah. yeah, and I guess that kind of works a little better. If you flip horizontally, um, no, well, cause you're, now you're still backwards. So it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. It's always going to be a fucking issue. <laughs> uh, but the tracking is so nice on it. Um, and it still has like, um, you know, all these good ones. And if you remember, we triggered like, ooh. Oh, one of the issues that I do have is that you can't do an instant. It'll always do like a slight transition, which is another reason that I do tend to use a BC face is because like, for example, with my, um, my angry eyes, it actually switches my eyes to a different eye color set. And you can see it like shift over my like eyeballs, which is kind of fucking creepy. Um, and same with this, you can see the lights like change. Cause I'm changing the coordinates of where this is and all that other stuff. Um, and one of the things I like about the other one is that I can adjust this a lot better. Although I do like the mouth tracking much more on this. Um, and I like the fact that it doesn't clip through my, uh, my, my face. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not bad. If you don't have the custom expressions that require like that, like you can still do regular custom expressions. Like this was slightly customized and you know, 
It's just the ones that have, you know. Uh, Oh. And if you move fast enough, the hair will clip, but like on slow movements or just tilting sideways, it's not clipping. And that's one of the things I really appreciate about this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is Leppet. It's, I think it's about $50. Um, for a while, it was one of the only real like programs to use to track VRMs, but we have more sense. Um, but this is a pretty good quality one. I recommend it. But, yep. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos from me, then please subscribe. Uh, what else do I say? Uh, like, like, comment, subscribe, bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bye.